Hi, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's a quick, easy, simple card. Um, to make this card I used the new stamp set, Snowman Seasons. And we used this snowman, his arms and his hat. And the word, let it. We can don't need this snow bit. To make it your oh there goes the stamp set I used right a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half two pieces of white card stock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and a scrappy bit uh, for the snowman and let it snow burnish that. I also used an embossing folder, uh, a spotty one. Stamping Up did do one like this last year. Bits on it. And I've just using this. I don't have a Stamping Up one because I had this one. So to start off with we're just going to do our stamping so it can dry before we colour it in. So with my scrap of white, I've got my snowman and my black ink and we just need to... Right, something's vibrating, I don't know what. Stamp a snowman. Stamp his hat and then we want two of his arms. Um, I'm going to do them over here. One. There is two stamps for his arms but I'm just using one of them. And then we'll turn this round and we'll stamp let it and see if I can find a bit of scrap. Try and keep me pad clean for a little while because I am going to be filming three cards, four cards actually. So we'll just stamp let it right in the corner there. Just quickly wipe me stamps. So they don't stain. They will do. There you are. Right, that's our stamping done. We'll put that to one side. With this, we'll be punching them out as a matching punch. I'll show you it without this line. So we will be punching the snowman, the hat, and the twigs for his arms out. We'll do that after it's dried and we've coloured it in. Don't need that. Right then. <clears throat> for the snow bit we need oh, this is the inside um, I'd already stamped this I stamped this for the, the card I made and I did it twice so I'm going to use it for the inside of my card and it says hoping this Silden build, season builds heartwarming memories I'm sure it is yeah that's what I had inside that one so I'm just going to use this for the inside of this card rather than waste it. That will go in there like that. Right, this one, glitter. We need to stick the word snow on it and cut it out. So, as I haven't done it yet, 
we get a ruler and a pencil and our large letter dies. I know they're retired but I'm still using them after spending all that money out on them. I'm going to put them about there so I shall use uh, halfway and I should just draw a line there. Let's see, how far did I do that line up? Seven eighths. Went up seven eighths and my snow is going to go along there. So, placing the letters down on here. I have to move them along. They will fit nicely. So you've got the same amount of gap here than you have here. Now, I have got some washi tape and I'm going to stick them down straight. the W down next. And stick that down. And then take the O down. And that is what I've done. Now, I am going to bring my bigger shot up. I've got the plates up ready. So we're going to lay that on there. Lay that on there. going to run this through bring it back right now all I'm going to do is open the embossing folder going to place that in the embossing folder. I'm going to remove this plate. Don't need that for now. And then I'm going to remove the dies but leave the letters in there. Poke my fingers so that we poke the letter out. The letters come out as not the end of the world because um, you can easily pop them back in.
washi tape on top of that. Right. That's all in there. And we'll shut that up. And we'll run that through the embossing folder. Just pray I put it in the wrong, right way. I did. I never even thought of that. Right. Put this all back together again. And get rid of it. Right. Tell you what I did forget to do. I'll try and do that now. So I forgot to rub the line out. So there we are. Now if you do what I did and forgot, forget to rub the line out and you emboss it and you might flatten the embossing, just get your pokey tool or your scoring tool either way and just run it in and put the bubbles back out. It's actually better if you use an embossing tool. Let me see if I can find one in here. Just a quick to get my embossing tool out the drawer. So, all you need to do is just go like that and poke your embossing back through. I'll show you in a minute. So it's all come through that through. Not that I flattened it much but I just thought I'd show you what it was what would happen if you did what I did and it um, flattened your embossing. There's a way to fix it. Right so don't need the toolbox anymore. Right just gonna poke my letters out now. And we're going to stick this on our card base. Right, if you do this, don't forget to glue down the bits of your card that you've cut out. Gently rub it down. Right, and we'll stick the inside in while we're here. And now 
we want to put dimensionals on the back of these letters. Right, the centre of the O, normally you would keep and put that in. Well, because we're going to be sticking a snowman in between, inside the letter O, we don't actually need this bit. So, you can get rid of it. Right, making sure you've got these all the right way round. Because I have done that before. Stuck the dimensionals on the wrong way. We want some little dimensionals. Mini ones. And we're going to stick them on our letters. Yes. These just go on in spaces. Right, I do need to cut one in half. Trying to put them so they don't stick out. And we'll do the same, we'll cut one in half. No way I could have prepared this beforehand to save you watching this boring bit, but it's part of the video, isn't it? Put one in the middle of each one. Right, that's... No. Cut another one in half. the letters done. Leave them to one side. Now we will get on with colouring our snowman. Not that there's much to colour, but we need black for the hat. Cut 
colour around the holly in the rim, not rim, trim. Just make sure his coal bits are covered, coloured in. All right, red berries. This is pink. What is this? Light real red, huh? Oh. And we're going to have a red bit there. And then for his face, we're going to do what color is this? This is pumpkin pie for his nose. And then because he's cold, we are going to get balmy blue. And we're just going to do, just around the outside of him, a very thin line of army blue just to see he's cold. That's what we need to do there. And get some pink and just give him some rosy cheeks. And that is it. That's our snowman coloured in. Well, as far as you need to colour him in. Now we cut him out. So, line them up in your punch. It's quite easy to do, she says. You're going to get all the other bits. And then, I need to line the hat up. Right, that's him, his hat, and then his arms. Can't get it in. I think it'd be better off putting them on strips of paper, strips of card rather than a square piece of card. And you won't waste as much card. Right, don't need that, don't need that. 
find his arms. That's not it. There we are. All the rest can go for rubbish. All right, with the let it snow, let it. We're just going to cut the let it out. Take off a sliver, don't need that. And as I'll let it. With the letter, what I did, I got my black marker, a blend, and with it the wrong side facing me, I just run a black pen across the edge and that gave it its black border Now we've got to stick these little bits on him. Stick his arms on him and his hat on him. So I'm just gluing the snowman and I'm going to press his hat down. I'm actually going to have his arms sticking out of his body like this. On the other card I stuck the arms behind his body. You can see. So this time I'm going to stick them on his body. I'll just put a little bit of glue there. Stick him on his body. And that one as well. Right, to finish this off, I'll put the glue back on here. The lid back on, sort of say. I am going to Cover it with Winkerstella. Just so he glitters. Nice glittery snowman. Don't know if you can see that down there. Don't think you can catch the glitter. Which is a shame because he is very glittery. So we need dimensionals on the back of this and on the back of the snowman. So let's put two big ones on the Not a 
be much luck with these. Oh no, that's all right. This one needs to be tucked in a bit. That's it. Right, we're going to put all these letters on first. Of these letters are going to take ages. Ah. Right. And pop these back in where they come out. Just thought I'd just put that O in and I'll have to lift it up again to put the snowman back in. So you put it in the right way. This one <clears throat> well, it's me saying it's a quick easy card. It's not that quick. But to me take all the stick them on and then take all the backings off the dimensionals. Right, so that's that. Now we need to tuck him in the O, so I need to lift that up again. And we're going to tuck him in the O as far as we can. And we're going to stick a dimensional under his body. And one on his head. Can I get a big one on there? See if I can get a big one on there. Yeah. Oh, 
I did do on this one, I put spots of glue where his hand is resting on the other letters. Just so that they don't spring up and you know get bent over or anything. Right, that's that finished. And then all we're left to do is to put the let it on. And we just put that in the top corner. And there we have it. One let it snow Christmas card with a snowman on. And here's the other one. Hope you like that. If you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please let's go back in a bit please uh, subscribe if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which will be which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon